Mrs. Lata Ramaswamy, she is the lady who reversed her diabetes. Yes, she reversed her diabetes by just use of millets. This is so awesome story. I am so excited to share this experience, the wisdom that she has shared with us in this video. She is so positive and so energetic lady. I was so happy to talk with her. All the links of her Instagram, of her Facebook, of all the pages and all the social sites I'll put in the description box down below. Just get the knowledge of millets and start using them. I am telling you, this video is one of my favorite video among all the videos that I have made on my YouTube channel. But there is only one problem that the audio is not of so good quality. I hope it will be manageable for you because you are going to understand all the things whatever she is going to say. So let's meet with Mrs. Ramaswamy and let's listen what she has to share. So good morning, doctor. Uh, this is uh, an opportunity for me also to reach out to so many. Yeah, through you. So if you ask me, you know, when did this journey start? I will say it was 2019. 2019, you know, early, I think it was somewhere in March. Yeah, I was in Bangalore and I was uh, having a little problem with my eyes because I was not able to see anything. Like you are sitting here, mm -hmm. I was not able to see. I had to do it like this to see. Mm -hmm. So... I immediately informed my husband and uh, there is a Nitralaya very close to our house in Bangalore. So he said, let's walk down there and find out. And that is when, you know, after the uh, checkup and all, we came to know that this was due to um, eye diabetes and mm. for a long time, for long time means I, that time it was almost 35 years. <laughs> That I was suffering with uh, diabetes, taking medicines, all all along. So you were taking medicines from 35 years? Yes. So you were taking regular medi uh, medication and then also then that also. affected yes. your... Yes, yes. Because it is told that, mm, uh, you know, it for a long time, for many, many years, decades, I would say, I was taking uh, uh, medicines that were prescribed to me and... Uh, it was not, I won't say it was a controlled diabetes or anything. It was a, okay, okay, you can manage your that. It was like that. And then I went to the shops and I got it, uh, my laser, this was done. That was my right eye. Okay, so you okay. can laser treatment for the yes. right eye. Yes, for right eye. And I mean, I will say, uh, since then, it's five years now, it's it's my best eye. <laughs> It was absolutely fun. But the thing is, something had to be done to that. I felt really bad that uh, next, certainly my left will get affected uh -huh. or then it may go somewhere else. So I had to take action about it. So I said, okay, let me find out. But wherever I know I don't, uh, uh, you know, feel good to say this, but nowhere I could find any uh, help. Mm -hmm. And that is when, you know, uh, there is a doctor, uh, Khadar Ali from Mysore, mm -hmm. who was able to treat any kind of lifestyle disease, many mm -hmm. cut rather. Mm -hmm. I will not say only diabetes, any cut. I was thinking, how is he doing it? So then um, I came to know that he was having a three-day session in Mumbai. Uh -huh. So um, that was being telecasted also. Live telecast was there. Mm -hmm. So I followed in there, made lots of notes, mm -hmm. and they were, you know, so very, uh, I will say, exemplified, you know, in their talk and they told us how to do, you know, lifetime. And for that, he got a certain uh, this, Siri Jeevan. Uh -huh. Siri Jeevan lifestyle. Siri, uh -huh. Siri stands for, you know, um, uh, Lakshmi Ji. Uh -huh. So that kind of lifestyle where you have wealth, wealth related to your health. So he was talking about this only that if you take good care of your health, the other things will also follow. But if you go behind other things and, you know, uh, neglect your health, then you will lose everything. Um, I will say that, uh, you know, uh, look into, an uh, insight into what, how we should eat the balance. 
Mm-hmm. It's not just uh, about uh, the uh, positive millets he was talking about. Millets, of course, uh, let me say that millets are of uh, two, basically two kinds. One is called positive millet and the other one is called a neutral millet, mm-hmm. which we all know very well. How to eat it? That was also a big problem because people have now, I will say at least uh, 25% people know very well. That mm-hmm. millets are very good for them. They yes. know it. Yes. But 20% don't know how to eat it. <laughs> Out of 25, 20% don't know. Don't know how to yes. eat it. The problem is that they bring it home and they cook it as they feel like, okay, uh-huh. like they used to cook bajra or jawar and uh-huh. uh, ragi like uh-huh. that. And then they eat it. Uh-huh. And if they have some stomach problem, Poor millet is being used. I was totally, you know, convinced about and it. Is. That this is what is going to be made into this. Okay, and he also told you that you have to change your lifestyle, how you used to live, how yes. you have to think. Yes, so there are so many things, you know, like we are not uh, aware of that. Now, certainly, there are people now aware about it, like plastic, use of plastic. He yes. says, so, you know, how we are uh, using plastic for everything. Plastic is convenient, but you should be very, very, uh, you know, careful about it and uh, you should have the knowledge where to use and when not to use. Mm-hmm. That's great, yes. You know, especially like hot things should never be put in that yes. or, you know, the liquid things kept in it for a long time. In very, uh, very recently, I saw some uh, study article also mm-hmm. that in one liter bottle mm-hmm. of um, uh, water in a uh, pet or uh, the you know plastic bottles. Mm-hmm. They have two like twenty four thousand nanoparticles, oh. which easily come yes. into it. Yeah, and when they go inside yeah. us, and that is where when we eat good food also, even uh, medicines also, good medicines also. Why it is not giving us relief because of those nanoparticles. Mm-hmm. They go and seal the cells inside. Mm-hmm. So if to inside the cell your uh, help of medicine is not there, good food is not taking the nutrition there, then how are we going to be helped? It just goes there and out of the body. Mm-hmm. So the nutrition is out of the body. It's not being absorbed. Yes. yes, that's the main problem. That's the main root cause of all the issues. Exactly. So that is that day we decided no uh, bottles, uh, especially water bottles of plastic. Mm-hmm. No way. Mm-hmm. So we either use uh, steel mm-hmm. or glass. Okay. Uh, what other lifestyle changes you did after? A lot of, lot of, I will say, you know, like um, I understood that uh, uh, mud pots are better for cooking. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, when you cook in that, you get your nutrition 100%. Mm-hmm. While slowly, when you are using other kind of uh, you know vessels, uh-huh. slowly, steadily, you are losing the nutrition. Uh-huh. It is that thing. Uh-huh. So that is why uh, I have come to know very recently from one of my plumber mm-hmm. that his uh, grandfather is uh, almost 130 year old. Oh. And uh, he has never eaten in any other vessel but mud pot. Oh. And he is not using any glasses for the eyes also. Mm-hmm. You know, nothing. He still has his uh, hair in that. <laughs> then um, another thing is we have left milk and milk product completely. Okay. No, not even in our tea or coffee. That also, you know, twice a day we take tea. That's it. Uh-huh. Okay. Sometimes if some guests are there, so sometimes you have coffee. So That's it. Like black tea? Black tea. Or? Black tea, black coffee. Okay. And uh, tea, we add a little bit of uh, half a teaspoon of lemon in that. Uh-huh. And then, you know, that uh, that gives us a lot of, uh, we have seen, both of us, me and my husband. And nowadays my daughters, I have two daughters, they have also totally changed. But the thing is, uh, what we do is we make curd uh-huh. and then change the curd into charge. Uh-huh. That we have. Okay, buttermilk. That way. Buttermilk. Uh-huh. Yeah. So every day? Every day, something or other. See, as it is, we are, we are South Indians. We have this curd rice every day. But we are not uh, like living in uh, South uh-huh. India. So uh, here we drink. 
Okay, so you really? had, so you had any like salt to it? Yeah, anything you know, salt, sometimes black peppers, other number, uh-huh. all these things, and I make every day little bit of uh, rice that. Okay, that's the different kind. Okay. So then, uh, uh, this goes also. Good okay, idea. yeah, that's it. Mm-hmm. And uh, another thing is the out of uh, millet, we make one dish called ambil. Uh-huh. Ambil, yes, and that we drink. Uh-huh. That that's not for eating. That's mm-hmm. for drinking. We drink them, and that is full of good bacteria. Good bacteria in the sense that the curd has only lactobacillus, right? But uh, this ambili uh, attracts you know millions of other good bacteria. Because I'm not adding any jamun in that uh-huh. to make it into curd or anything. Uh-huh. So it is attracting that kind of good bacteria which. You must have had in your gut, mm-hmm. but the uh, use of so much of uh, um, you know medicines, mm-hmm. you, anything you yeah. have, for, yeah, yeah, so many. So you actually kill those uh, yeah. good okay. bacteria in your gut, and this installs this uh, umbilical. If you have one glass of it, mm-hmm. if you feel like you can add it with or salt or. According to your taste, you can add ginger and chili, mm-hmm. and you know, ground and mix mm-hmm. with it. Whatever you feel like, you do with it. You play with it. That's it. We know so many kinds we do. Okay. But that is a must. Okay. Like even now, I have okay. made it and kept because previously, you know, I used to do it in the night and mm-hmm. have it in the early well, breakfast. Mm-hmm. But here, night is so chilly now, yes. you know, <laughs> so it will not ferment. So I make it in the morning, uh-huh. and by three o'clock, it. Ah, so the more daytime is fine now. It's not so bad. So please share us the easiest way to make ambi. Easiest way. It is most easier. Uh, see the grain you now five positive you know, ah. with each of the millet we can make. Method is same. Mm-hmm. Okay. So generally, what we do is per person it should be only twenty five grams. We should not take more than that because mm-hmm. too much of grains is uh, the reason for bloating mm-hmm. and uh, uncomfortable mm-hmm. and all this. So we what we do for both of us, uh, me and my husband, we take fifty gram and ten times water. Let the water boil, okay? And then this fifty gram of uh, uh, made it must have been soaked earlier, eight okay. hours. Mm-hmm. It has to be so in the after lunch or so, one thirty or so, I soak it. Mm-hmm. Soaking is also uh, very important. How to do? You have to take it in a you know thin wire chalni mm-hmm. and then wash it just once, nicely wash it. That's it. Mm-hmm. And then you put it in a vessel and ten times water. So fifty grams means five hundred ml. Five mm-hmm. hundred ml water you take it and soak it. Mm-hmm. Soak it for eight hours minimum. Mm-hmm. Minimum eight hours. Mm-hmm. Then with the same water, no throwing of water. That water is precious. Uh-huh. Okay, why? Because um, the millet has soaked and it is able to release its uh, fiber. Uh-huh. So that is that's what happened. Because see, I mean, uh, rice and uh, wheat mm-hmm. they have fiber only in the outer okay. layer. While in millet, each layer mm-hmm. it is like one layer of fiber. One layer, uh, the grains only. Uh-huh. Like that, it is contained till the core. Okay. So when you soak it, they become you know soft, mm-hmm. and then only we are able to consume it mm-hmm. without any drugs. Mm-hmm. This is the most important thing. All of us must remember. Whoever is cooking me like eight hours soaking is yeah. must. So night say about eight thirty nine o'clock. The five hundred ml of water, I, uh, mm-hmm. the boy, and add this. Uh, sorry, not five hundred. We have already sold nine five hundred yes. ml. So that entire thing, I put it for boil. Uh-huh. Let it boil nicely. It's boil. No, nothing to be added. No salt. No masala. Jeera. Nothing you need to add. It is made only of water and the gravy. Okay. Okay. So let it boil. It will take about twelve minutes. Okay. It will become mushy. Okay. okay, nice. So you can take it out and check it within your finger whether it is uh-huh. cooked nicely, and then you switch it off. Uh-huh. Let it cool down, and then you have to uh, transfer it into a mud pot mm-hmm. and uh, tie it with a cotton. Uh-huh. No keeping a uh, like a lid. Uh-huh. No lid. Just uh, cotton. cotton grass. and leave it minimum for uh, eight hours in summers. Mm-hmm. In winters, it may take more. 
it depends upon temperature mm-hmm. see uh, we all uh, make curd mm-hmm. so you just tell how much time it takes to prepare curd mm-hmm. in the season mm-hmm. so like in winter in uh, here in gurgaon it will take easily about 11 12 hours yeah. so that much time it will take to uh-huh. uh, ferment uh-huh. so then after that you have to take it uh, it should be in dilute form uh-huh. if it is not you can make it a little more dilute but no hot water okay no hot you know it is full of bacteria yes yeah, good so if you add uh, hot water they will all die and more your effort is gone waste <laughs> yes. okay so we should be taking it at room temperature only and, and sometimes you know like in places like himachal pradesh uttarakhand yeah. even kashmir people are having so they what they can do is they can keep it in a bottle okay you know in a hot water this uh-huh. they can just keep it for some time it comes to uh, mm-hmm. palatable temperature then okay then they can take it and once in a day you have to take at least once in a day and even if somebody takes thrice a week it will do its work yes but for anybody having any problem and taking it every day mm-hmm. every day in, in just if you take it for 3 weeks you will see the difference mm-hmm. so like after that you can add something or you can add like uh, you see uh, it all depends on those who are not having any sugar problem they can add fruits mm-hmm. or even they can churn fruits in mixi and then add this okay so it will be like a you know slush okay. it will be uh, um, very very tasty to okay. have that very tasty then um, you can add some chalk okay okay bagar we say now that you can make let it cool down and then you add uh-huh. you can even add grated carrot or some uh, veggies and greens uh-huh. you can add to that uh-huh. you can whatever you feel like you can add to that with a little bit of pinch of salt also uh-huh. or kala namak uh-huh. or even the, the rather white salt you know one should have either sandha namak uh-huh. or kala pink salt yeah pink salt yeah or black salt black salt no that much not sweet uh-huh. you should uh, play you know uh-huh. uh, yo with the white uh, in white salt so like you you saw you started doing this and you started then using the minutes yes. after listening to hey, see he, because uh, my husband had a you know this mindset that this we are not going to taste food. and you know, our it looks like sand <laughs> that's what is it i said okay then i will try to make as good as possible uh, and then you can't even believe this three months you know i have not repeated any recipe uh-huh. i'm not repeating yeah, so at so right. that time also you know i would write it uh, like for five days i will write uh-huh. it down these are what i'm going to do monday tuesday up to friday and saturday i will sit up and i will make for the next day this mm-hmm. next weekend saturday sunday generally we make uh, you know uh, those uh, you know uh-huh. you know those kind of things so uh-huh. or um, we say uh, adda we say uh-huh. you know so all those things there are so many varieties even grains you know you can make so many types it's exactly like rice but it will be in small form so dosa and idli you make of yeah every uh, this is a dream yeah only mm-hmm. limit that's great so in how many days do you felt that kenan maya's body is changing three weeks three weeks three weeks it i was actually in two days my i was taking every day reading mm-hmm. uh, fasting and pp both uh-huh. and second day i found it under 200 which i had not seen for a long time and by the time you were taking metformin also also and metformin also was also not helping you no no i mean because of metformin it was at 200 uh-huh. and it was like you know and such a happy sight to see that and both of us we realized yes but you know we had to check you know for a long time you know what, what is going to happen then Three weeks we continue proper just all three like at that time see we were five years longer but uh, now we are taking only twice a day not uh-huh. three times a day uh-huh. we take two times a day one uh, in the morning say about ten thirty eleven like that uh-huh. and then one uh, lunch at between three thirty and four 
Mm-hmm. Well, even in between 4 to 4.30, uh-huh. then. that is before sunset, oh, okay. before sunset, and then we don't take anything, night we take um, one uh, fruit, something like that, uh-huh. no, that's, mm-hmm. if we are very hungry, then I make one to Sarah. okay, then all that is made of uh, millet or big, so like that. You are eating fruits also? Yeah, yeah, certainly. <laughs> and like, yeah. uh, when you started using millets in your diet, uh, after three weeks, so what changes you felt in your body? See, the first this was they got so much of agility. No, I was not sleepy at all. Otherwise, you know, uh, you know have lunch we, we we used to have because we used to have dinner also. So we have lunch every three to thirty and three. So at that time, immediately after eating, in half an hour, I will get sleep. And that means at least I need to sleep for 45 minutes. Mm-hmm. But someone not feeling sleepy, I am still ready to go. <laughs> it's a more, you know, everything else you have to do. I will do that. And so many things, you know, you can find around house so many things. Mm-hmm. So I will be, uh, you know, uh, I can see this, that yes, my energy level increased. Uh-huh. And I see the certain. But we went, we had not left our mind for me. We kept on eating what doctor had given the running one, the evening one, so nice one, like two times we were taking. Was continuing with that. But my uh, you know, doctor knew about it that I have changed my diet. And I'm I'm experimenting with my change of diet. Which I became convinced that this is the right way I'm doing. And then doctor also understood that yes. Uh, you know, what I'm living is uh, uh-huh. good. And uh, she said, but uh, don't uh, stop it now. Um, it may be that, uh, you know, to the, this it is um, responding, but uh, it may not, for some other kind of, if you eat. But then I was very sure that I'm not going to eat white rice. Why? When you have become all right, you have become, you have been given a, such a good, and moving towards good health. Mm-hmm. Why will I go back, switch yes. back to rice and uh, yes. you know, wheat? Yes. So like uh, after how much time you were free from yeah. metformin? Yeah, it took me about uh, nine months. Nine months. Yeah, nine months it took me. And dose okay. was the same for those nine months or yeah. it was? No, no, doses were uh, decreased. Uh, by sixth month, you know, doctor said we were taking 500, uh, no, 1000 we were taking first. 1000 was reduced to 500 mm-hmm. and ninth month she reduced it to once 250. Uh-huh. Once 250. And it took me about one and a half years to completely come out. Uh-huh. So, so mine was also, uh, you know, diabetes of a very long time. Yeah. So I must understand at least, no, I have to give for every year, at least I have to give one month. Mm-hmm. You know, it was like that. Uh-huh. It was like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was thinking it is, it is like that. So I have to, uh, you know, be sincere and dedicated towards my health. I'm not doing it for some bad or something. Mm-hmm. I want to get back to good health. Mm-hmm. And that and good health means no medicine. Okay. I yeah. feel that. Yeah. yeah. I feel that the good health means you should have a life. You should lead a life without medicine. Yes, that's yeah. true. So, like, after one and a half months, years, you are totally out of medications. Yeah, yeah. Totally. Then totally. Just eating your diet, Absolutely. following your lifestyle. So, that's Absolutely. possible. And this is yes. There is a, you know, it's not just uh, uh, eating millet. There is a protocol which uh, Dr. Kadarwani suggests. That means first days in the morning, we have to take uh, sada. And they are of uh, various leaves only. Um, just no grinding, nothing. Just add the leaves to the burning water. Uh, after 2-3 minutes stop it and then you strain it and you have it at room temperature. Like for especially for the uh, uh, diabetes, it is in honey apata, you know, coriander yes, leaves, yes. coriander leaves, then mint leaves mint. and uh, fenugreek leaves uh-huh. and uh, salicin, drumstick. Yeah, drumstick. Uh, drumstick. Yeah, drumstick. See, these are all small leaves. Okay, yes. dhania, pudina. Um, methi and drumstick. Yeah. These are all small yeah. herbs. They have to be taken per, per person only half a fistful. Half. Half fistful. Adi moti. Uh-huh. Okay, like that. And the fifth one is gilo. Uh-huh. See, I have gilo. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, just because it is now cold, I have cut it out uh-huh. and kept the uh, stems, uh-huh. which can be again grown. 
Okay. Yeah, come February, March, if I put them in soil, then it's done. Yes. yes so, no, that. so from you know, it's always quickly. Since then, I started growing it. So, you use the leaf of willow? Yeah, the leaf of willow. Leaf of willow only, uh, if it is uh, small, then two big means only one. one. That's it. We have to remove the uh, the center stem, uh -huh. which is called what pitiol. Yes, pitiol. Yeah, that, that has to be removed. Uh -huh. And it has to be washed, and then you have to add to, to the boiling water. That's also not much 120 ml per, per person. What are you? 120 ml water and boil it, and then uh, small leaves, half fistful, no, heroic, small one, two, big one. Uh -huh. That's it. Remove pitiol, add it. And three so minutes boil. Yeah. Switch off. Close it for 5 10 minutes, uh -huh. let it come to room temperature, strain. Yes. Every morning. Every morning. Every morning. Okay. Second protocol. What and was second it? protocol is your uh, after immediately after this, if it is possible, you should go for work. Mm -hmm. Because half an hour you are not supposed to eat or drink anything. Mm -hmm. So, what better than go yes. for walking? <laughs> okay, yes. so that's the best. You go for walking, you come back. And then, you know, you are ready for your uh, morning tea or something uh -huh. if you have it. Like I have only did the, uh, um, right uh -huh. now, you know, what I'm having is there is a Kodo has, Kodo is one of the um, uh -huh. uh, millet, millet, five positive millets. Uh -huh. They are named as um, Foxtail, Little, Kodo, Barnyard and Brown Top. So these, we have millets, two types of, yeah. one are positive, positive, the other is neutral. neutral. Yeah. So the famous ones, those are neutral yeah. ones, that we all know. Everyone knows. Yeah, and positive ones, yeah. those we, yes. <laughs> many of us, we don't yes. know about them. Yes. So why they are called positive, why they yeah, are Yeah, exactly, exactly. See, this is a very important message, you know, the word Positive itself means that yes, there is something good about it, right? But the reason is the some other reason. Like you know, fiber and carbohydrate. In all millets are have carbohydrate also. Okay. So the ratio of fiber to carbohydrate. Mm -hmm. You know, if it is uh, more than five, uh -huh. they are positive. Okay. And if the ratio is less than five, one to five. Mm -hmm. Okay, actually all over Ragi Bajar Jawad, uh, Makkah mm -hmm. and uh, another is called Troso, mm -hmm. uh, these are the neutral mm -hmm. ones. Huh. So these are having less than actually 4. Okay, okay that's why they are called neutral. Mm -hmm. Okay, but they are still very good, they are very good, especially for people who are not having any problem. Mm -hmm. They are the millets to go to. Okay? And these, you know, the positive millets, the ratio gives you uh, 7.8 to 12.8. So, the uh, highest is the brown top. Okay, so it's one should be uh, fiber. Yes, fiber to carbohydrate ratio. Yeah. So, one should be fiber and point, there was 7.8. It should be carbs. Yes. Fiber is also, you know, uh, like uh, we are having a lot of fiber in these uh, positive milk. Mm -hmm. So, therefore, you are getting it in okay. that. Okay. Otherwise, in the other, in the neutral millet, the fiber is less. Yes. Fiber is less. Okay. okay. So, the release will be very slow. So yeah. So, the yeah. insulin spike will be not so yeah. high. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's right. Yeah. That's that's. Actually, that's where all the diabetics, they are told to eat whole fiber. fiber and vegetables yes. to their food because the lease will yes. be slow and yeah. insulin sensitivity yeah. will be better. And one more thing, you see, if, uh, you said about fruits and vegetables, no? they have fiber. But how much can you eat? You cannot eat even <laughs> one kilo, no? Yeah, sure. Can you so eat one kilo? One you can eat maximum a one amrut or one uh, apple. Yeah. Okay, a cup of vegetable, uh, the papaya. Yeah. You can fiber amount with two of them together, both vegetables and millet, mm -hmm. brings it. Brings it more up. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. it. Yeah. That is the reason. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, uh, doctors always say, please keep your uh, vegetable food. Uh, this more. Mm -hmm. How much can you? <laughs> so, like in the morning, we had drink our yeah. para decoction. Then we had a walk. Uh -huh. Then we had our uh, breakfast. That's yeah. of millet. That is starting my use. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
you should start with the uh, fruits uh, and uh, um, you must have every day one fruit you should have, which is what you know is uh, seasonal. Okay. Both of that. That's the best. And then you know you should have some uh, nuts, okay. like yes. uh, you know, walnuts or the, uh, your uh, badam wow. and almonds, cashew nuts. Cashew nuts you can create. So you need only two two of it. Oh, um, why not you yeah. know this uh, in order to pack it? And then a little bit of seeds. Mm -hmm. There's so many seeds we have, no? Mm -hmm. uh, sunflower is there, pumpkin is there, flax seed that is seeds, there, yeah. you know? Uh, then even um, there's one more um, chia seed. Chia seed. So all these are there. Then you, you should take these, not much, you know, every day you should take a different one. Okay. And take half a spoon. Okay. That's it. Okay. You get the good, uh, you know, uh, nutrition okay. from that. Such supplement, they are good supplement. Yeah. Instead of going for a um, medical, this yeah. you can daily take these. Yeah, omega three. Oh, omega, exactly. Yes. Everything is omega uh, well, when you take flax seeds, no, you must always roast it a little. Yes. Okay, and keep it in a bottle, mm -hmm. and then you add. And that uh, keeping in bottle also, you know, it's better if you. Uh, Grind it, not grind it, you should pulse it in the mixing mm -hmm. so that it just breaks mm -hmm. and keep. Otherwise, what we have to uh, the, uh, the seeds will go, flax seeds go in and go out. Wow. <laughs> that yeah. Yeah. yeah, so it's better. You know, this is the best way as that you know, if you are taking flax seed, this is the way you should take it. Okay. And not you shouldn't make too much also. Just you know, for one week, you make it. Then next week, again, roast and uh, pulse it and keep it. <laughs> Uh huh. And like we have taken this, and then what's the next? Gambali. Okay, then. Yeah, you take gambali. Okay. If it is, you know, not uh, winter, you take gambali in the breakfast itself. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to drink it, a glass of it. You drink it, the, uh, whatever you want to add to it. But once you add something, immediately you should drink. Mm -hmm. and like if you add the salt to it for a long time, again, it will kill the bacteria. Uh, yes, that's it. Yes. Okay, so this is over. It, this is good. You know, this much if you have, you will have a good uh, breakfast. Okay. Even yes. when some people feel it hungry. Okay, so uh, they can have something like this, sorry. Uh, the millets are there. With the millets, you can make everything. Like you can make chira, you can make upma, uh -huh. you can make um, even. Uh, uh, this side they make paratha, mm -hmm. roti, everything you can make. And rupees are not when we make nights, so always better to make, make it during breakfast or lunch. Never during dinner. Uh -huh. Never during dinner, rupees should be taken. Why? Because when it interferes with other fasting sugar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is, you know, same, very clear. So don't never to eat roti or, uh, you know, with atta mm -hmm. in the night for dinner. It should be over by lunch. But it's very hard to make the roti of millets. Yeah, but it's again, you know, it's a, it's a way of making. Mm -hmm. uh, that's also, I have it in my YouTube also, okay. how to make a roti, actually. Okay. I'll put the link yeah, you can. of yeah. all of your yeah, yeah, please. Yeah, Instagram please. and all. Very, more people see it and more people adopt this yes. life, you know. Yes. I am going, I have taken this in my, uh, you know, last year, mm -hmm. when it was International Year of Millet. Yes. That was by 2030, you know, we should not be called the capital of diabetes. Diabetes. Yeah, that hurts me also. Really. And that will certainly, see, people have started uh, taking, you know, this, adopting this lifestyle. And they are eating better and better. I can't, you know, uh, give you examples. Just two days back, you know, somebody mm -hmm. had asked me, and I, because he was still, he was a doctor, mm -hmm. and he was taking um, very high insulin, uh -huh. very high insulin. We can't double digit, we will see you, but. Uh -huh. So, I, uh, you know, informed him, I advised him, guided him. And in two days' time, he called back saying that. I have never had such low insulin to take. Ah, uh, the breakfast is done. What's the... Well, see, after that, you know, uh, um, if somebody feels uh, uh, thirsty or something, they can have liver burning. Uh -huh. Anything like that, they can... But without sugar? No. Oh. See, sugar. Three, four things are there that should be out of your mind. Uh -huh. Like, first one is uh, white... Uh, Sugar. Okay. White sugar and any type of even good. 
especially see it's all right for other uh, diseases who are not having sugar problem they can have go uh-huh. they can have jaggery yeah. they can have palm jaggery mm-hmm. that's also very good yeah. okay but sugar people should totally avoid to white sugar jaggery and milk the second one is white milk white milk so that is also out mm-hmm. okay they can have plant based uh-huh. milk like coconut uh-huh. milk or almond milk yeah. milk And even now these um, millets also we can make milk. Uh, sorry, milk. Milk, 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 milk. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like even baja also can give you milk. Okay. Ragi can give you milk. Okay. So similarly, if it's all five uh, millets also we can make milk. Okay. okay. So that is the thing. Third is not to use uh, uh, non-stick. Ah, no. Please avoid that. Okay. Next, plastic. Okay. Avoid that. Okay. So all these things are gone, especially with the last one. no white rice of any any name and the second is uh, wheat and wheat product like especially uh, wheat atta uh, maida mm-hmm. suji mm-hmm. all this all this are wheat product okay <laughs> the, if you go and find out how maida is made no my mother is yeah anything we got that so and uh, one of the major this for sugar problem is always on the Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. So these are the things. Okay. So avoid these things. Now we come to lunch. Lunch is a very, very you know simple homemade food. Whatever you have for lunch for everybody in the house, you can have like you can have salads. Start with salads. Then you have uh, your uh, plate of balanced food. Like you can go for uh, one dry vegetable, one curry vegetable. Then a cup of dal of it. We have so many kinds of mm-hmm. pulses, you know. Mm-hmm. So t- at least ten times, ten times everybody knows. Yes. Okay. So you can go on changing. You can have best is the green mung. Okay, green mung is the best out of everything. Mm-hmm. But you can have everything. All other sorts you can have. Then you should have your uh, uh, if you are in roti, you can have roti or you can have uh, millet. Next. Okay, roti also millet. Millet. Yeah, all all of them we can make. And uh, if somebody is starting first days and tackling a bigger problem, okay, I uh, the sugar problem for a long time or ten years like that. If th- they should take only millet rice for three weeks. After that they can start because millet rice will immediately start controlling your blood levels. Bring it down. Your sugar, your uh, medicine intake may be reduced. Mm-hmm. So this is it. So and last but not least, one glass of butter. Butter pink. Every day. Every. Every day. Mm-hmm. Okay. And with whatever you like to add to that, please go ahead. No mm-hmm. problem. Mm-hmm. You can do that. Mm-hmm. So see this kind of food. If you have, you know, at least four to five hours, you listen to your stomach. You will not feel any. It may be that you are you are used to having something with your tea in the evening and all. That is mindset. Mm-hmm. But if you listen, ki ha, you know, if there is any gulgi uh, going inside the stomach, you won't feel anything because this will take eight hours to digest. Mm-hmm. So how can you feel? You know, it will keep you what say shit. Ah, that's it. Full feel. Ah, okay. So even then, suppose you have finished by two o'clock. Then even also you can have your this, and if you are want to, especially if you want to have something with it, which you know you can have makana, 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 uh, roast it nicely. Yeah. Uh, you can add a little salt or some spices you want to add. Keep it in a bottle. And just take a handful, and you have it with your yeah tea. Okay. I don't know. Tell you my experience. I bought. I was in an airport, and I bought makana. I thought it's my healthy food, so I should take it. <laughs> It went was so much salty. Ah, so that's so much salt was See? inside it. See? It was so too spicy. Yeah, too much spicy. Get it, get it. What is and the buzz at the end? No, I still know that. Yes. I've seen that. I was sure. I was like, then I started reading the content. Yeah. I was like, what's going on? Why? So, and it was like totally another. You all should first wait, then buy. Yeah. I'm never. You know, in recent, I will tell you mind this. Uh, I was in a market and a uh, mall, and then the beautiful, you know, um, jowar biscuit. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Fine, I mean, like all of them, rawdy, everything was there. I said, okay, let me read the content. You won't believe. 
there were not even 3% of Dodger or Joa. 3% yes. do you mean that? Yes, yes, yes. And the rest were all made up. Yes. How is it going to help you? There. If it is 70% of our giant, 30% also you can take meat from. Meat from. Yeah. Okay? It will be tasty, it will be good, nice cake, it can be prepared. Mm -hmm. And it will help also. Yeah. But this is it. So I you know, request everybody before buying, read the ingredients. Yes, even if it says that it's healthy, they pack it in such that, a way. Please understand. There's something called advertising. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. so it is okay. See, it's it's not their uh, problem, their mistake. You need to. It's written, no? Yeah. It's for yeah. you yeah. to read. Read yeah. it. Yeah. Read it. See, somebody not having any problem. That's such a good thing. Go eat. Yes. But Manda, everybody should have. Everybody. Should. Yes, in all the men, in yeah. all the diseases. Yeah. It's diabetes or it's rheumatoid arthritis, any kind of issues. Yeah. The core problem can be yes. consumption of white flour. So it is now only five years. We are not having rice, white rice in our house. No meat or meat products. The thing is there. Absolutely. Even uh, we, but we eat ghee. Ah, okay. Okay. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Ghee is it's very good because you need to have lubrication in your system. Yes. And uh, if possible, make the ghee in the house. I make ghee in the house. Mm -hmm. And uh, milk also. It's better if you have A2 milk. A2. Yeah. A2 milk is the desi cow. Yeah. And that is what you can, uh, you know, make the curd. And from the curd, you take out the buttermilk. Yeah. And that's very good. And your uh, butter will be out and your buttermilk will be. Yeah. I have a video where I've talked about what is A2 milk. Yeah. And like, uh, it's actually casein. There are two kinds of casein. Yeah. Uh, correct. Then A2 is. The one which doesn't create any of the issues. Yeah. Like if you be using A2 milk production, yeah. now you have acne or yeah. any kind of issue. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, but it's right. again, because of the advertisement and all, it's very hard to find milk <laughs> nowadays. No, no, so, okay, we have taken over to lunch now. Yeah. now and then evening also, I told you, uh, as we came to Makana, uh -huh. uh, so if it is, you make it in the house. So, you know, you just have to add a pinch of salt. Yeah. And salt will, you know, preserve. Yes. That is the thing. Yes. Like so. And break a little taste. Not, uh, you. If, if suppose you need to add any spice, just add a little bit of black pepper. Ah. Enough. Yeah. It will really help you. Yeah, I would say that the best pepper is black pepper. Correct. Correct. The best, actually, uh, if we uh, can research it, India had only black pepper. Yes. Actually, it was yes. called as black gold. It was sold from the start. Right. Even yeah. that touch, they came to yes. India yes. To, to buy that. Or to buy that, yeah. and they did the trade yeah. because of black. And then you had like lots of uh, pipe with you. Yeah, pipe with you. Yes. As it is, we are talking about that. That's the best. This is over. Then try to finish your dinner by eight maximum, uh -huh. uh, so that you know by before you go to sleep at least. In the half of the digestion is all over. Mm -hmm. That is the thing. And then, you know, you should go for one pot dish. It's the best. Like you make a kitchen. Okay. A uh, kitchen. Or you can make it with a lot of other vegetables and all. You can make it. Some kitchen, you put dal, no? You can make it like a vegetable pulao. Mm -hmm. That you can make. With all minutes, you can make it. It's, it's really tasty. Really tasty. So, like uh, at night, you are. I as advance one go for one for one pot. Yeah, and one like if a person okay, sometimes it's kitchen. And what yeah. are the other options? Like, see, because we don't have to no. eat. No, 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 no. See, there are it's there are poha. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Made poha. All five. See, you have poha means one poha. Uh -huh. Your one bottle or one jar is kept for poha. Yeah. Here I am having five different kinds of poha. Five positive minutes each one poha is available. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So can you read how oh, much option you have? Mm -hmm. So poha, so many things can be made. Okay, mm -hmm. poha can be. It's not that poha means only poha. You can make even cut bread out of it. Okay. Okay, you can make out of that. You can make even uh, like vegetable pulao like that. Poha out of poha you can make. So it's gonna be like twenty five grams or twenty five. Not per person. Okay, at night. Also. At night or every every meal never more than that. Never Unless somebody is you know highly physical. Mm -hmm. Highly physical, they can go for higher this okay. because they will be able to digest. Uh -huh, yes. Yeah. Those who are, you know, like uh, um, chair, yeah. uh, work and all, say God, 
or uh, they, this doesn't take them too much of physical work. So they should go for this max. According to your, um, you know, hunger you eat. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, I have seen that people, you know, need to same amount as they eat rice and they get, and they get problem. Yeah. So what is the different thing you have done? Yeah. Yeah. So you eat according to your hunger. That means this will be sufficient to this your mm-hmm. satiate your hunger. 25 grams will be sufficient. Yeah. But have lots of vegetables. Mm-hmm. Lots of vegetables. Okay? That is the best thing. And you know, for diabetes, one more thing I wanted to tell you. Each of the millet should be taken for two days. No. Like if I am starting with foxtail millet, foxtail millet for today three days, tomorrow also for three days. Okay. Today breakfast, lunch, dinner, tomorrow also breakfast, lunch, dinner should be foxtail. Okay. Then you go for the second, then third, okay. like that. And you should keep, uh, in, uh, you know, uh, a list that one after this is what, so that you, you don't forget oh, you are living in that. So that And always keep them in either glass jar or you can keep it uh, in the fridge also mm-hmm. but this will not last more than three months okay. remember okay. okay because as we like it the insects also like it very really much so it will get but it has an outer coating you know outer cover mm-hmm. if outer cover is there it will stay for 20 years also okay but we cannot eat <laughs> only the birds can okay. eat but the birds will eat okay. so once we remove that outer cover then it will stay only for three months. Mm-hmm. And uh, now, now that I have started soaking and drying and then uh, using it and sending it to people also, mm-hmm. then it will not last more than one and a half months. Okay. Because you're already you're soaking. Okay. So it will that much only. Yeah. So I send only for one month. Okay. How much people need, I send only one month because there's so much of work in morning. And if they keep it for more than that, it's unnecessary going to be, you know. Yes. Uh, I mean, so it, they should if possible, keep it in the fridge also. Mm-hmm. Then it will stay for maybe two months also. Okay. So, like, you have to consume like fast yeah. and you have to consume one uh, millet for two days. Yeah. And then you have to check. Okay. So, 10 days is a cycle. Okay. Yeah. Fine. 10 days is that. Two, 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 two days, five of them, 10 mm-hmm. days. That, so, that means in one month, uh, you will have three cycles. Maybe. Three cycles you will have. So, you can't use more than two days or it's like minimum no no it's only for diabetes yeah for diabetes uh, like two, two days if you use it then each one is is getting enough okay. so what happens is each why each one they all have uh, their own properties okay. okay so your body that is what I mean. yeah so from head to toe you are giving them nutrition you are allowing them to clean that part of your body so now let's show to people how those millets look. Yeah. And you can give us some information also about the millets. Yes. About what we have taught you. Yes, yes, certainly, certainly. Uh, these are the grains, you know, the millet grains, positive millet. You can see here, uh, foxtail, millet, kodo, banya, bronto. See, these are all uh, soaked for eight hours and three days dried. Okay. Okay, yes. then it, yeah. Yeah, so then dry. So then dry. These are all so then dry. Okay. okay. They look like this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See, uh, many times people buy, but they are all white, absolutely white, because they are polished. These are unpolished. Mm-hmm. Unpolished is what is beneficial. Yes, because then only they will have the fiber. Yes, not just fiber, the outer layer is called a lignan. Uh-huh. Now, lignan is. Uh, you know, it is something like it makes a fortress inside your body. Uh-huh. Okay, inside your system. Uh-huh. So it will not allow any virus to attack you. Oh. Now, one of the side we see, you know, out of all this uh, during COVID and all, you know, all of my old flow, uh-huh. the old building, everybody was having. Yeah. But me and my husband, we never contacted yeah. him. Not that we were sitting in the house, we were moving all around. You know, talking uh-huh. to people about it and all. But we never learned. Well, that's great. <laughs> so when I asked my doctor that, why, why is it like that? She said that it is not that it has not come. It is something that it has come, attacked you. I mean, you didn't give any. Uh, See? So that is why it is called when you have millet, you build up a fortress inside your, uh, you know, body. Like that's it. That's it. 
So these are all soaked and dried. And this one you can see, this is unsoaked. Okay, this is unsoaked. But I keep some unsoaked also because uh, when I make a dosa idli and all, I need for baking batter, uh -huh. I soak them in the night and then in the morning at night. Okay, so this is the this is the soaked one, and yeah. this is the steak. Yeah, unsoaked. 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 Whenever I want, I do it. So we are in the middle and medium. Okay. Uh, they have any specific properties? Absolutely, each one of them. You know, like the fox tail. Fox tail, you know, it is. Uh, very good for our respiratory system. Mm -hmm. Okay, Respira any kind of respiratory problem, fox tail make it. The go to millet is fox tail. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. and uh, little millet is good for all uh, the, you can say, the stomach problem. Okay, GIT. Ah, yes. And men, women, everybody, and especially uh, the ladies' problem, like. PCOD, PCOS, uh -huh. all that, uh -huh. the little millet is the best. Uh -huh. If then the protocol also changes, then it is little millet three days, the uh -huh. rest one one day. Okay. So it's bad. Uh -huh. So the, that way little millet is very good. Even for men also, if they have any problem, you know, uh -huh. mental problem and all, uh -huh. this is the best. Okay. Little millet. Then comes Podo. Uh -huh. Podo, personally, is my favorite. Uh -huh. Because you see, this, uh, Cleans mm, your blood. Mm -hmm. Even within your, uh, where the blood is found? In the bone marrow. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. It cleans bone marrow also. I don't know if any, uh, you know, medicine is there which cleans. But Kodo can clean. So it's very good for skin? Yes. Yes, any, uh, you know, uh, this uh, anti immune. Uh -huh. Auto immune. Auto immune system for that photo is so good. Mm -hmm. So good. Okay, all as you said, skin disease, tear fall, mm -hmm. uh, all that photo is the solution. Mm -hmm. Okay, then comes the barnyard. Mm -hmm. Barnyard, you know, we we have been eating this. This is known as samakka chaval. Uh, breath, breath, yeah, 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 yeah. That is it. But you remember that is white in the other. Look yeah. at this. Yeah, that's totally white. Look at this. Uh -huh. Banya should be like this only. Mm -hmm. But because, you know, I think we have this tendency of white. I mean, it has not gone out to have a sister of 400 years of slavery. That white is the best. <laughs> See? Yeah. White so, means clean. Yeah, sometimes, yeah. Why? Such, you know, dusky women are so beautiful <laughs> to look. Yes, yeah? yes. Uh, so, similarly, Banya, you know, it should be like this only, mm. not white. Mm. This is the uh, unpolished variety. Mm. We should have this only. And Banya, what is the property of Banya? See, all of our soft parts, not like kidney, uh, like your, uh, um, the other parts, you know, uh, in the stomach. Side. Yeah, all, all the, uh, even uh, the, this one, um, spleen, spleen, pancreas. Spleen, pancreas. Basically, pancreas I was coming to. Okay. So, banyard is very good. Mm -hmm. And it is the nearest to your virus. Mm -hmm. Nearest. Mm -hmm. Taste-wise also, you know, uh, when you make the uh, banyard uh, millet rice, it tastes very tasty. It will uh, go so very with your, just plain dal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or I make some like sambal and all. So, it tastes very nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, and brown top is known as the king of millets. It has the property to clean from head to mm -hmm. And all the more in the, you know, your stomach region, intestine, all that, it helps a lot. Mm -hmm. and, but every wherever, you know, is needed, brown top is the first one to reach. Mm -hmm. I see. So they go to your different parts of the body where it is needed most and take the fiber there and clean it. It's so sad, like Indians, we are not following Ayurveda and our style, and uh, Americans, they are not eating brown dog. Otherwise, they, they, they <laughs> think this is for uh, birds. Uh, <laughs> it's for birds. They wouldn't have so big problems of obesity. Yeah, I have spoken to so many, uh, you know, people who are more uh, close to people from Jharkhand and Bihar and all. They say about Kodo. Kodo, they call it Kodra. Mm -hmm. Kodra. And they say that. Anybody having any problem, which be they make uh, the porridge out of uh, kodo and give. 
and just next day they are back to the farm. Mm. Like that, it is so powerful, Pooja. I'm going to try that. That's for sure. It's very, it's very good, very easy. Okay, and the this is also this is the unpolished uh -huh. uh, variety, but unsoaked. Uh -huh. so okay, unpolished, unsoaked. This is what I use for um, uh -huh. batter, batter, making that. And that like you also like. You provide the soaked one also. Yeah, yeah. So you this only I provide. I don't uh, give uh -huh. this. This I keep little for myself. Okay. But there is everybody I provide only the soaked and dried because the, what happens is this will not give them any excuse for not baking. <laughs> Where all people say, oh, I forgot to soak for eight hours. How will I make? When will I make? So this is really instant making, and I never give them more than for one month. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's yeah. very good. And some people say, um, please give me 5 kgs, please give me 10 kgs. I'll say, why? To throw? I will not give it. Let somebody else take. Yes. Yes. Let somebody else take. Yes. You ask after one month also, I will immediately send you. Uh -huh. That's it. So you are uh, sending them all over the yeah. world? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, not just India, the world over the world. Yes. yes. So, like, uh, it takes how many days? The to reach process, process. full process. process See, that's what I said. As soon as uh, I, I get it from farmers directly, mm -hmm. okay, mainly Telangana, uh, Andhra Pradesh, and this one, your uh, Tamil Nadu, mm -hmm. and Karnataka. Uh -huh. From there, we get all of them, all of them. And they are really, you know, uh, so trustworthy that I, I, I am not able to go to any uh, market and buy just like that. It's available, I know. But when I see them, I know they are not turned for which I feel so bad. Mm -hmm. You know, people pay so much for it also. Yes. They are not, uh, uh, you know, easy uh, this also. They're quite expensive also. Only when the production will start and the demand will also grow, then maybe the yes. price will come to a nominal this. Mm -hmm. But right now, that is so much, right? So, but they buy. They don't know. That's why it's better you are showing through your channel, please, you yeah. know, so, so that they understand how it should look. One more thing, see, uh, about body, I, I will say I must have been abusing it for so many years. But the moment I changed, the body is so intelligent, you know, it understood that I'm giving good. I'm providing good. So they are miracle only. They are not result, they are giving is miracle. Everybody deserves to be healthy. Yes. Everybody deserves to be yes. healthy. And the method, the way, the heart is big. Yeah. See, this is one thing that I always uh, like to end it with. That, you know, if you're eating right, you don't need medicine. And if you're not, then right. Medicine can also not be. So please eat right. Eat right and save yourself. So this was Mrs. Lata Ramaswamy. I hope you liked the information. She has done tremendous work and I buy all the stuff that she makes. And I tell you from my own experience, when I cooked and used it, millets are magical and her stuff is really, really awesome. If you are interested, please visit her Facebook page and Instagram page. All the links are in the description box down below. Try them out at least once. Try them out and you will be amazed by the power of millets, how awesome they are. And you will enjoy the variety that she has to share. She has pasta also, macaroni also, so many stuff she has. So give it a try and then write your experience in the comments down below because with a little bit of millet, you are going to be full. And for a long period of time, you are not going to feel hunger. It's just magic, but you are going to feel that strength, that energy in the body. So give it a try. Let's cheers for Mrs. Lata Ramaswamy. See you next video with a big smile. Up to the time. Smile more. Stay happy. Stay healthy.